I'm back. So I've been away for a while. I haven't really done anything Azure Link Pro related or anything like that. So it's time to come back and bring you some extra videos to help you out a little bit further in understanding how this whole thing works. And as part of the pipeline as well, there are three other videos for different DAWs coming in. One is for Cakewalk Sonar, one is for Pro Tools, and the other one is indeed FL Studio, which has been a more or less requested one. And that one's gonna take a little bit of time as well as the other two at the least. Uh, I've been kind of working a little bit with getting a good grip on how they function for routing purposes and whatnot. It's gonna take just a little bit of time. Uh, my plan was to have them done all together by the end of this month and at least be up, but it seems like it's gonna probably dip into August a little bit. But I do promise that I have as much work going into this as I possibly can. So stay tuned for some of that. And at the meantime, as well as part of my coming back I also set up a category over here in my Discord server. One is a live chat. The other one is more or less just like purely solidified information. The repository itself has a link to where to download. It has a bit of information on how it works or at least uh, getting an understanding of your routing matrix, how to at least install it so that it works for you. And there's a couple of other things that are probably missing data wise, but I am at least at the current moment trying to get all of it sorted out so that you have the ability to get this installed, get it working, get it functioning for your virtual audio writing needs and so forth. I don't think that there would be anything as comprehensive elsewhere on the web. So I'm trying to at least do something to be as comprehensive and be sort of like the one stop go to place. So I hope that this kind of helps you out in getting just a little bit more of an understanding for extra resources that I'm at least trying to provide for you. Uh, the link will be in the description to the Discord server. So I have a couple of other videos coming along here and those videos regard interfaces and whatnot uh, alongside with extra information. So the interface video, which is gonna be the next one in the list, will explain a couple of things regarding driver compatible interfaces and how things like a Blue Yeti, like a USB microphone, doesn't work in this regard, nor does your motherboard sound card settings and whatnot. From what I've been finding out that this is gonna be an interesting topic to cover for as you link pro so you're going to want to stay tuned for that one for the extra information side there's an installation suggestion of the additional 16 wdm drivers organizing your inputs and outputs by labels in the post installation part daw functionality and compatibility because this seems like this may be an issue coming up with three other videos and if they happen to do so at least this will have that information covered along with bst2 and bst3 i have a theory on this regarding as the only pro and it seems to have happened a couple of times before so i'm going to at least try to cover this and then past that there's cakewalk sonar pro tools and fl studio there is a potential that these will be coming out around august instead of by the end of the month like i had originally planned to things are taking a bit of a turn along with having to finally come out of a heat wave that we had in portland not long ago so a little bit of patience on my end to put myself into this and get it going and hopefully you have the same amount of patience in return and that'll be it for this video and hopefully there is some use of this again links in the description for discord and so forth and hopefully that'll do it and i will see you in the next video uh yeah <laughs>